Hello, families. My name is Dr. D. I'm Dr. Krista Deisler. The kids call me Dr. D. You can too. I am one of the instructional technology specialists for the school system, and I wanted to do a video for you just to demonstrate how to get into Parent Portal. Um, at the beginning of the year, we usually send out forms to make sure that we have your information and we can get you connected connected on portal and then what usually happens is you get an email after that from the librarian at your school saying here is your uh, ID your access key to set up your username and password so let me show you how you go about doing that uh, from the Greene County Schools homepage notice up here I'm just at green.k12.ga.us that's our main system page We've got some great pictures of all the fun stuff going on in the district and that's where we also post announcements things like uh, called meetings or if there's a weather event or something like that so it's a really good idea to bookmark this page and check it as often as you can from this page, if you scroll down just below the pictures of the wonderful things going on, you'll see a link right here to Parent Portal. So you click that link, it opens in a new tab, and once it loads, you'll see the option to click either Campus Student or Campus Parent. You, of course, are a Campus Parent. So you click there, and now it knows me, and so it's gonna show my information. That's not what you want. What you're gonna do is go down here to new user. So if you've gotten that email from your school with that big, long, 32 character long access key, then this is where you will put it in. So here on the access key, I'm gonna paste in, Oh, that's just what's left of one. Oh, that was the phone number. Um, <laughs> but what you would do is copy from the email of um, that you received with that big, long 32-digit key, and then you click Submit, and it will walk you through creating your username and your password and uh, let you get in there and see your information. Now, one other thing that might happen if you put that key in, it might tell you that there's already a um, username associated with that number or that activation key has already been used. And so if that is the case, then you're going to need to contact someone at your school to get your password reset. And so here I have a document if it will load for me. There we go. Our contacts at each school. At the primary school, it is the librarian, Miss Neely Hudson. At the middle school, it is the librarian, Miss Heather Hewlett. And the librarian at the high school is Miss Felicia Atwater. So we have our library media specialist as your main contact for getting parent portal issues taken care of. They should also be, be the person that you'll receive an email from with that initial ID. Um, and then here again is my information. I am Krista Deisler, and again, I'm an instructional technology specialist. I help out the whole district, and you're welcome to email me or call the district, and I'll be glad to help you out. So that, in short, is all we have for you about Campus Parent Portal. As always, thank you so much for supporting us and the school system. And thank you for supporting your children and trusting us with their education. Let us know if there if there's anything that we can do for you. And we appreciate you more than you know. Have a great day.